Alright, so in this video, we're going to go over on how to install Windows 7 on a machine. Uh, Windows 7 is about ready to run into end of life, so I um, don't really see why you'd be installing this unless it's on an older machine with some outdated hardware. But anyways, we're going to go over. So, once you put your disk in and you boot up, you should see this menu where everything goes alright. And to start off, just click install now. Alright, it's going to ask you to accept the terms and conditions. We accept. Next. Okay, if this is an upgrade, if you're going from XP to 7, click here. Um, otherwise, we're going to do a custom. So here's our hard drive, 32 meg, or actually 32 gig. That's where we're going to be installing that. You may see something different. If you see something different, you're going to need to um, erase that and Basically, you need just an empty disk. So, we already have an empty disk. We're going to click Next. Um, to erase that, there should be some items down there. Um, delete partition, erase partition, something like that. Just click around. You'll figure it out. It's pretty easy. Alright, so here's where it's going to take a minute. It's going to start unpacking, unpacking this disk and going through the installation. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video for a little bit and we'll come back once we've uh, moved on past this. Alright, quick little update. We're uh, about a little over 10 minutes in. Um, this virtual machine is only running on one core, so it's not too bad. 10 minutes in, nearly half halfway done. So. Just a heads up, you may want to give yourself two cores probably. But anyways, we'll let it go and come back in a few minutes. Alright, so about another 10 more minutes and it finished. It just finished going through all four of those steps. So now it's, uh, Windows is going to restart. Completely normal. And there we go. Um, remember, your right control is how to break out of the window. You can see my, my mouse is stuck inside. So right control breaks it out. Okay. After all that, Windows is booting up one more time. And I think this should be the last one. Yep. All right, so there we go. Um, so that's installing. Now we'll go ahead and give ourselves a name. Let's call this Win7 Test. Well, leave that as a computer name or username. Test. Machine name. Win7 test. Okay. Next. Um, I don't want to use a password, so we're going to skip all this. We'll use recommended settings. Uh, setting time and date. That looks pretty close. It's actually 56. Oh. There we go. And yeah, we'll leave that. Next, we are on a home network. It may find our internet, should find our, our Ethernet connection through Zen or uh, VirtualBox. Okay, looks like I found it. Down here we can always check our settings. Looks like we got some connection going down here in the bottom right. Oh, well, this may take a few minutes. If it gets any longer, we'll pause the video. Oh, there we go. Alright. There's our Windows 7 machine with all the stuff that comes with it. So, you can see we've used, uh, what, about 10 gigs ish of space out of our 32, all of our system files. So, there we go. And later, we will use this machine for testing other things, going over different features for Windows. And that's really about it for this video. So, 
if you have any trouble, um, comments, leave a comment down below, and we'll try to come up with a solution for you. But that's it for this video. Thank you.